Right, this is a how to do a snare patch on ES2. Um, everything's set to a vanilla setting. Um, to show you how to do it. Um, first thing I want to do is select oscillator 3, just on its own, none of the others. Uh, we want that set as a noise. Um, okay. really hear it at the moment. Um, oh, that's fine. No, it's not. I'll show it in a second. Um, on this side, we want uh, the blend for right, all the way to the right. Uh, we're going to set the cut off um, oh, almost full, so about there. That'll do. Um, just a bit of resonance. Um, yeah, just about that. Not too much because it um, becomes too um, bright then and horrible. Uh, when we get here over to the amp, we want the distortion um, about halfway. Um, personally, for me, this is for volume purposes, um, but also it does add some character to it. Um, gives it a bit of bit of meat. Um, we want the tone also about halfway um, because it means well, you get add more meat to it and the uh, top end that snare has. Um, we want the sign level about a third of the way, so that's about 100 it says there, 0 0.500. Um, and that's really it just for that bit. Uh, so it gives because the snare is an actual tuned instrument, so that's why it has the snare. And uh, moving on to the envelope, um, we want the attack fairly short because if it's too short, then it starts. It makes a clicky clipping sound, clicking. Um, and it doesn't really represent it. And the actual snare doesn't hit that quick anyway, so um, we want the decay fairly short as well. Just a bit above the above the attack. Um, we want the sustain just below half. because uh, so, we don't want it lasting that long. Um, same with the release, about a similar level. Um, and that just lets it ring out like a narrow snare would. Um, oh, also, uh, back to the filter, uh, turn the drive up just a bit, about, just about there. And that's it.